a hobbit child. Uh, excuse me, where's the ent exit? There it is. God, gotta get my mic over here. Uh, hey guys! Okay, we're back. <laughs> Let's try a little bit of Ford Racing 3, shall we? Hopefully it's not terrible. The game's a little bit loud for me, and I imagine for you guys. Let me turn that down a little bit. Uh, God of War is what you want to put those five votes on for the resub? You got it, man. I will add that in right now so that I don't forget. You're talking about God of War 2005, right? The first one? I'm assuming that's the one you're talking about. If I'm wrong, let me know and I will fix it as soon as I remember to do so. Let's go ahead and throw it on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, so the first game, by the way, since you asked, Rue, is Ford Racing 3, which I'm sure will be fantastic. <laughs> being, being just a little bit facetious. And then the second game is Dawn of Mana, which is one I'm actually really excited for. I uh, played the first game in the series, really enjoyed it. Have been wanting to play the second one for quite a while, but never got around to it. And then, uh, if I remember correctly, this is the third one. So, uh, Dawn of Mana is the third one. So, yeah, 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 that should be fun. Welcome to Ford Racing 3. Uh, thank you, game. Welcome to my, um, I don't know, humble abode here. Morning, so uses autosave. That's fine. Did I put the extra five on Dark Cloud 2? I did. I did, I did. Our name is Ass. No, uh, S-T-R. You were at GameStop and saw ads all over the place for Destroy All Humans 2? Yeah, dude. Well, the, uh, the remake of the second one just came out, uh, within the past few days. Or maybe the past... I don't remember exactly when it was, but it wasn't that long ago. Within the past week or two. And, uh, yeah, so I'm not that surprised, honestly. From what I've seen of it, it looks really good. I mean, the first one I really enjoyed, obviously. I talked about that on the podcast, right? I'm pretty sure I did. And then um, we played a little bit of the original on stream. And it was a lot of fun, also. Honestly, I mean. Uh, okay, what kind of options do we have? Anything? No. Audio? As far as I can tell, it's not copywritten music, so we'll, we'll wait on that. Screen mode? Oh, 16 by 9? Nope. We're gonna leave it normal. I like the normal one. I single guess we'll just player. go into single player. I'm assuming... Is forward competition, like, the, the main game mode? Yes, it looks like it. First thing we gotta do is a movie car chases. Competition status, not race. Difficult, easy? I mean, whatever. Let's try it, I guess. Ass would have been the best name. <laughs> I mean, look. Ass is fun and all, but... <laughs> it's not me. I mean, I can be an ass sometimes, I guess. But can we change our color? Oh, we don't get a pick. I was hoping we actually got to pick the color. Uh, I don't know. Do you guys have a preference? I guess if I had to pick, probably just the white. I mean, the blue's not bad. I don't really like the brown. Light blue's okay, too. I like all of them, really, except for the brown. The brown's kind of lame. You like the blue? Collect this vehicle in Ford Challenge, Ford Competition. Okay, so it looks like you actually have to play a couple of the different game modes to actually oh, unlock selected. everything. That's kind of neat. I like uh, I like some unlockables. Gives you a reason to do stuff in the game, at least. It's always appreciated. Game still looks a bit loud. I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. Maybe neg 6.5. That might be okay. So I don't imagine we'll be playing Ford Racing 3 for too long, mostly because I'm excited to get into Dawn of Mana. And also because, like, eh, you know, it's <laughs> it's a Ford Racing game. I don't I don't know if I expect all that much. Wait, I'm over revving? Oh, you can't like rev up before the before the go too much or Okay. Are there any penalties or anything for going off track? Oh. Okay, we definitely slide a little bit. Coming up on a sharp turn here. It's our first race. I have no idea how the handling works. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. 
it feels really weird. I don't know if that's just the way this car drives or the physics in this game are strange. I don't know which. But turning feels funky as hell, dude. It's our actual speed, 60, 70. Oh shit, I can manually shift down? Can I manually shift up? Doesn't seem like it. Either fifth is the highest gear or you can only manually shift down. I don't know why that would be a feature, but I'm assuming there's no penalty for hitting walls. It looks like we're getting bonuses for uh, for drifting, though. And for getting our tires up off the ground. It looks like that might have gave us a bit of a bonus, too. It's definitely not giving us a speed bonus. I'm surprised how easily we got into first place. But now we're actually, like, we do have to kind of fight to keep it. it. Makes me wonder if they're doing some rubber banding or if I just got really lucky getting up into first. It's only a two-lap race. Okay. It's not bad. How's this a movie car chase, though? I thought that it would be, like, us and then a bunch of, you know, fake cop cars or something like that. I didn't expect it to just be... What, me and five other normal cars? It's definitely no Gran Turismo, but it doesn't feel terrible. It just takes some getting used to. Can you drive with the with the stick? Yeah. Or not with the stick, with the D-pad. It is kind of lame, yeah. I mean, it's just very basic so far, right? Like, there's just nothing really to make it stand out. You know, Gran Turismo has its insane amount of cars and, and some level of customization. Need for Speed has, well, I guess it depends on the game, the whole street racing aspect or the cop chase aspect for like the, uh, the pursuit games or whatever. That's the problem with, like, the other racing games that we've been trying. They're all just bog-standard racing games. There's nothing to make it special. You know, at least with, uh... What was that other racing game? Oh, the, the NASCAR one we tried. At least, like, with that, it had... Oh, God. <laughs> no! No! You asshole! <laughs> we were so close to first place, man! Oh, and then we fucked it up right at the end. That was on easy, too. Was that enough, though, to, to get us forward? Or Oh, that was only round one. How many rounds do we have to go through? Anyways, so as I was saying, that uh, NASCAR one that we played, like it had that story mode to make it kind of interesting, to give it a little bit of uh, something special to it, you know? It had the, uh, what do you want to call it? I want to call it a nemesis system, but that's not what it is. Where rival system and whatnot, where you could make friends or, or rivals and they would be more aggressive towards you or try to help you out to win races or, or whatever the case was. Like, and now I'm revving too short. I don't understand. <laughs> Probably because I'm not, like, in real life, I like cars, but I'm not what you would call a car guy. Where do you want the revs to be to get, like, a uh, an optimal takeoff like that? I'm assuming you want it near the red line, but not, like, maxed out. Maybe around the, the 5,000 RPM mark or something. I wonder if the car handles differently on the, the dirt. That might be a bit, bit much for them, honestly, for this game. It's a sharp-ass turn, dude. Oh, shit. You really need to put some signs up, bro. <laughs> I thought we were going to keep going around that circle there. I didn't realize we were <clears throat> straightening out all of a sudden. Where are we? Is this meant to be Japan? I just saw the temple. That's purely what I'm going off of, but... Suddenly construction site? Who races around a temple slash construction site? Is this a real track somewhere in the world? Oh, God. Oh, I thought that was going to be like a bridge with a jump or something. I'm 
nice little seaside section, man, or, or lakeside, probably, rather. So far, it feels like you can basically go full throttle all the time. Like, there are little sections where you need to let off, but I've hardly had to apply the brake at all. Even though we're in dirt, I have to assume going in grass would would hurt our performance. I'm not basing that off anything in the game. I'm purely basing that off of uh, what I believe to be true <laughs> from other racing games. You know, prior experience tells me it's usually good to stay off the grass. So I'm going to assume we should try the same here. 100% speculation, though. I could be completely freaking wrong. It would be cool since it's giving us, like, the little pop-ups for however far we, we drift and, and all that stuff. It would be neat if we got a little bonus or something. It wouldn't be realistic, but I, I really like in Mario Kart how, like, for the drifts you get the little mini boosts and stuff like that. Like, that type of stuff's fun, man. Not every racing game needs to strive to be realistic. Just give us some fun shit like that, dude. Fuck it. Throw some power-ups in here. Let me <laughs> let me shoot some missiles and whatnot out of my car, dude. Let me try and blow some other people up while we're going around the, the track here. Let's go wild with it, dude. I imagine Ford doesn't want to condone people blowing up cars with their cars, though. That's... Uh... <laughs> I'm assuming that's not something Ford would actually want you doing. I don't know if this is true or not, but uh, I know somebody was telling me that one problem a lot of car game makers have had, such as Gran Turismo, um, when they want to go and add realistic damage to cars, like body damage and whatnot, not just mechanical damage, um, sometimes they run into licensing issues apparently because some of the car manufacturers don't want to license out their cars in a game where they're going to be damaged cosmetically. They want them to only be shown in like a pristine condition, basically. Which, I mean, I get you want your car to look as good as it can at, at any given time, but I like that sort of stuff in games, you know? You run into a wall and now your fucking wheels wobble inside to side. You got a giant dent and a bunch of paint missing. Like, that's just fun, dude. Okay, so we're tied for first now, 16 and 16 with some other guy. I don't know how many how many rounds there are in this. Hopefully it's uh it, three? Maybe. Sander Ray's track harbor side. Laps two. Wonder if there's any cheat codes for the game that'll let us like unlock everything from the get-go. No. Over revved again. You piece of shit. <laughs> I wonder if uh, if this game is pressure sensitive. Some racing games on the PS2 are for the, for the X button. That's the accelerate button. So I wonder like if you just press the X button at just the right pressure. I wonder if you could you could perfectly rev without trying to, to bounce it or, or time it just right. I don't, I don't know though. The next time we're uh, at a, a cold start like that, maybe we should try it out. It shouldn't be too hard in that situation, but I don't really want to try it here, like while I'm driving. I think it is. I, I was saying I didn't want to try it, but I tried it anyways. <laughs> Cause see, I'm not gonna let go of the X button right here, but you can see our revs are actually going down. I'm still pressing the X button just lightly. And now I'm jamming it down. We're going back up. And then now I'm going to let go of the X button entirely and see it goes down really quick. So, yeah, it looks like it is pressure sensitive. So, we'll have to play around with it a little bit if there's another round and see if we can get it, like, at that sweet spot. So, we can get a nice rev going. Okay. You a fast boy. I think my uh, my skidding, my drifting, is actually costing us speed. I need to try and maybe go into the corners a little bit slower and stop the uh, tires from skidding all the time. 
just to keep the the highest speed that we can going forward because going under the assumption that this is the last race for the competition um we kind of have to win first place or we're probably probably going to get second for the whole competition Where are we at? I wonder if it says like what city we're in or, or state on this sign. Harborside, something else. I can't actually read what they say. It's a little too uh a little too low resolution to really read that well. I'm sure if we stopped and looked at it we could, but I mean, come on. No. <laughs> Not gonna do that. There we go. See, taking that, that bend at a hundred. I doubt we did that last time. So you may not technically have to let go of the accelerator all that much, but it's probably better if you do. Okay, 26-22. Got a bit of a lead. Was that the last one, or do we have another round? Oh my god, guys. Do you know what uh, Noodle and I made last night? I think I might have mentioned that we were going to on stream, but I don't know. Uh, I don't remember for sure. Other than dinner tonight, of course, we made some uh, some ice cream, some fall-themed ice cream. I'll let you guys guess what flavor if you like. But it is delicious. We made the, the base and froze it last night. We blended it up today to make it nice and smooth and creamy and all that. And mm, Boy, fan-fucking-tastic. It was delicious. Pumpkin! Ding, 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 dude, you got it. <laughs> so I think we might have... I'm pretty sure we, we mentioned on stream last night which one we were doing um but yeah no it was pumpkin we put a a little bit of <laughs> noodle we put a little bit of cinnamon down in a little bit of pumpkin spice a uh, few big scoops of ice of ice cream yeah we made ice cream by freezing ice cream it was fantastic no uh <laughs> mixed in some uh a few big scoops of pumpkin and then of course you know your normal vanilla base and it's actually it's really good it's my favorite that i've made is still this like chocolate 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 one <laughs> i don't i don't really know what to call it it was just really good like rich fudgy chocolate whenever it was uh done that's definitely the best one i've made so far in my opinion but pumpkin's a, a fairly close second it's pretty good dude the texture came out really good too Although, since it has, you know, the pumpkin spice in it, and that stuff doesn't really dissolve, it just kind of sits in it, because it's, like, ground up nuts and tree bark and stuff like that. Um, it, uh, it has a little bit of a texture to it, but it's, like, a little bit of a grittiness to it, but it's not bad. Circle, square, triangle, XX, R1, R2. What, uh, what screen do we put that in on, Chocobo? Do we put it on the the main menu or is there like a cheats menu that I that I overlooked earlier? I have no idea what it even does, but I'm willing to try it. <laughs> also, we definitely handle different off-road, which I mean is to be expected, I guess, but turning is hard. <laughs> I don't know if the snow is playing into that or if it's all because of the dirt, but oh god. We're fine. Everything's fine. Maybe it's just the truck, man. The truck feels kind of like a boat driving it around, honestly. Like, didn't say. Honestly, I'm not really enjoying driving the truck anyways. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's go and try it out. Let's see. Or the message disappears. I mean, I could always scroll back up, I guess, but, you know. Retire from competition. No, just go to main menu. Yes. Circle, okay. Go all the way back to main menu. Circle, square, triangle, X, X, R1, R2, L1, L2. Circle, square, triangle, X, X, R1, R2, L1, L2. Didn't seem to do anything there. Options. Options. Game. Game. Audio. That wouldn't be under audio. Controls. Controls wouldn't really make sense either. Credits. I mean, I guess we could try it on this mode. Circle, square, triangle, X, X, R1, R2, L1, L2. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, it didn't seem to do anything. Uh, Quick race? Are there more things unlocked now? Do we have to do it, like, in the middle of a race? I'm not sure if that worked. <laughs> oh, no. Quick race literally just throws us into a random... Okay. I thought, like, you know, most games... Whenever you, uh... Whenever you select quick race or something like that, you get to select your car still, your car and track. I thought we'd get to do that at least, but no. Holy hell, dude. Okay, either this Mustang is a hell of a lot faster than the other stuff, or the cheat you gave us just gives us, like, turbo fucking speed. We are zooming around here, dude. <laughs> I did notice whenever we first took off, we did get a good start, so I thought it was just that. But I did notice there was a little bit of, like, a, a blue streak on our tires. Oh, my God, man. I don't think we even need to worry about the walls. Either we got really lucky with the, uh, the cars that we're going against, or... Oh, shit. Maybe not. This dude's catching up. Looking at the minimap, I thought they were all much farther behind than they actually are. So what was it? Circle, square, triangle, XX. Shit. Hold on. Try again. I don't imagine you do it in the middle of the game, but on the next straight, I might try it out. Oh, fuck me. Okay, we got this. It's fine. Everything's fine. Don't mind the walls. It says enter at main menu. We did. Nothing happened that I can tell. What was it supposed to do? Like, what was the cheat for? Was it an unlock everything cheat? Like what I was mentioning? Or was it something else? Circle, square, triangle, XX, R1, R2, L1, L2. Yeah, I definitely put it in right. I just, I double checked in my mind. Like, I know my left and right, right? Like, I did, I did do R1, R2 first. And yeah, no, I did do it right. Oh, God. Oh, no, we were doing so well for a moment. Oh, no. This is my win, bitch. Stay away. No. Bitch. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> I'm surprised we got that. I thought we were going to lose that one. It is supposed to unlock all cards. Okay, well, we'll go back in to, like, not the quick race mode. Maybe it just doesn't, like, have a jingle or anything that, uh... Circle, square, triangle, X, X, R1, R2, L1, L2. Circle, square, triangle, X, X, R1, R2, L1, L2. Okay, yeah, let's go back into single player. Maybe it'll... Maybe it's for, like, one of these things. Let's go to the collection. Yeah, no, it definitely didn't unlock all vehicles, sadly. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't think it works, sadly. Select a challenge theme. Uh, well, all the Mustangs seem to be locked. Are all the GT cars? Mm, there's one of those unlocked. Locked concept cars. Can I drive this one? What? Track mountain drive reverse challenge drafting. Generations. Mustangs. Thunderbirds. Damn, dude. I guess let's just go back into the uh, to the competition mode. Hey, Noodle. Thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. There we go. Now we can... I mean, it's not quite the uh, yellow with black stripes or, or vice versa. 
but it's yellow and black at least. That's kind of what you were asking for, Rue. You know, if you squint a little bit and don't look too closely. Hey, Noodle, I have a question, love. Are you busy at the moment? I, I was talking to Noodle, not Google. Noodle just called, or not Noodle, Google just called me an 11, so thank you for that. Try one more time of Eagle Select. You got it, man. <clears throat> oh, I was just wondering if you would fill up my water bottle for me if you're not busy. Noodle. If you are busy, totally get it, but... Okay, there's a few different um, vehicle select screens, so I'll try it. Well, shit, see... The thing is, like, if we're in the collection, which is where you look at all the cars Standard. here, um, bit of a delay tonight, sorry. Is it, do you have the uh, low latency mode turned on on Twitch? Do you have it up there? I do, I do. Okay, so what do we got? We got, what was it? Circle, square, triangle, XX. Circle, square, triangle, XX. R1, L, uh, uh. no. Okay, nothing on this vehicle select screen try the the competition one wait not classic oh yeah no classic that is what i wanted okay select the competition mode you thought it was just me i haven't changed any settings so i don't think it's anything on my end it might be a twitch thing though make sure you guys have your uh Oh shit, it didn't let it didn't let us pick a car this time. We're gonna Okay. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and finish this race and then next time we get to select a car, or I guess it's gonna be these three races. And then after that we'll try what is going on with these vehicles though? Did you see how the AI was driving there for a moment? <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, as I've been trying to get out, but I keep getting sidetracked. ADHD man. Um Make sure you have the low latency mode turned on on Twitch. I imagine you two do already have that turned on, but uh, you can enable that on the, the the video player. And that will help to some degree if you don't already have it enabled. Hey Noodle, while you're up here, can you do one more thing? Turn the air conditioner down to like 68. Thank you. We're sliding. We're good. Everything's fine. I can't. Bye. I love you. Thank you. I can't help but notice out of the corner of my eye that my mouse is flashing furiously. I think it might be dying. <laughs> I should probably plug it in. Oddly, I didn't get a pop-up saying that it was uh, almost dead, though, so I didn't even think to plug it in. The battery lasts on it for a pretty, pretty long time, so I'm not really in the habit of doing it. But really, I should, since I have a bad habit of leaving my computer on all the time. I should honestly just um plug in my or just plug in my fucking mouse whenever I whenever I'm not using. It. Oh, there was a heist and I missed it. Well, fuck, dude. Nate, you live though. Awesome. It does look like it capped out at nine thousand or at four thousand four hundred forty-four though. Even when you do the uh. All in. Oh, you were one of the ones that died, Rue? Five, five and six have been eliminated? Wait, what? Wait, is this an uh, elimination match? Like, the last two positions are eliminated each round? I mean, it doesn't really change much for us. We just got to stay in first place, but... That's good information to know, though. We definitely don't want to fall behind too much at any point. You weren't allowed to join? Oh, because you were getting me water? Are you watching on the TV? Because you could have just joined on your phone while you were getting the water. But I guess if you're on the TV, that's a, that's a little bit more difficult to do. <laughs> oh, you are on your phone? Then why didn't you just type it in? You weirdo.
Can't help but notice it's three, oh fuck, three laps now instead of two. Which is kind of lame. Honestly, like, as I'm getting used to it, it's not too bad driving-wise. The physics are a, a little bit funny, but... Lost 77 points. <laughs> See, Nate? This is what I'm talking about. This is how it should be, right? Chocobo has a, a pretty standard win-loss ratio. Maybe a little more loss than win. But... <laughs> and he doesn't gamble egregiously. Yet he's sitting at zero. You gamble all the freaking time. <laughs> and somehow you go from zero to... What are you at right now? Two trillion? Three trillion? There goes Mr. Noodle's 5,000 points. There goes Rue's 5,000 points. Okay, Nate, your turn. Gamble. Give us a, a good 500,000, 50,000, whatever, whatever everyone else was voting. Let's see. I bet you Nate wins, man, whenever he go does it. If he's still awake and does it. He may have fallen asleep. He has a tendency of doing that sometimes. <laughs> there he goes. See? Told you. Gamble all in. One. 500 million or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> the bot is broken. <laughs> it has something for Nate. I don't know. Some sort of secret love affair going on between the Streamlabs bot and, and Nate over there. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know what he's bribing the bot with, but it's obviously working. I kind of like this uh, knockout style. Again, it doesn't really change anything if you just stay in first place, but... It's at least a little bit more interesting than just straight up racing. God, we skid way too much on that last turn. He's catching up to us. Oh, fuck. Come on. Let's go. We got it. Finish. Hell yeah, dude. You win. You win. Thanks, game. Six four two one zero. Oh, that's weird. You still get the same number of points for winning or getting knocked out. I would. I was thinking whenever you got knocked out, you just wouldn't get any points. But no, it's the same as if you completed the race in a lower position. Just, uh, I guess you just race less. Track collected. Race type collected. I guess if you were ever speed running the game, that's something you could use to your advantage, right? Like, say you only had to get third place to move on to the next section to to, to unlock the next mode or whatever. Then I guess you could uh, just, like, let yourself. Then, uh... Then, so, like, so it'd be faster than, you know, finishing the race. Okay, yeah, it looks like the good start just gives us a bit of a turbo in the beginning. But see, if they're going to do that sort of thing, like the, the turbo in the beginning for the good start, kind of how Mario Kart does, why not just go all out with it, man? That's all I'm saying. Nate, you say you lose a lot, man, but no one except for you sees you lose a lot. <laughs> everyone here sees you winning constantly and uh, everyone else losing about half the time. <laughs> He said, one of these days, we need to just compile a list of all of the, the Nate wins versus Nate losses and see if it is actually 50-50. Because obviously, we're all a little bit biased. I, I understand that, you know? We are all a bit biased, seeing Nate over there with his trillions while we're over here with pennies. But, hey, there you go, Rue. There's a win for someone that's not Nate. <laughs> Uh, right turn, okay. Oh god, we're in the, the gravel. Oh, there you go, yeah. <laughs> Just slide so bad in the gravel that you make it back onto the road on the other side. Let's go. Okay, okay. 
I don't do well on maps with sharp turns. Can we just do a drag race? Is that an option in the game? I like I like it nice and straight when I don't have to do any turns or anything. Dude, can we actually have a train come through at some point? That would be fun. That was one of the maps that I kind of had a love-hate relationship with on Mario Kart. The one where the train went through the middle of the... The, the map. Because I feel like I always... Got in, like, the worst... Fuck, let's go. I feel like I always had the, the worst luck, you know? Like, I'd be coming right up on the intersection as the train was going and get fucking smashed. But it did lead to some good element or to some good moments, right? Like where you're like, oh no, am I gonna have time to make it? And then you just narrowly make it over the tracks before the, the train comes zipping past, and it's just like hell yeah, dude. If you've played that map, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's a good time. Oh billions, you're right, you're right. I said trillions. My apologies, my apologies. I'm okay admitting when I'm wrong. Your goal is trillions. You're only at billions at the moment, though. Uh, screw you, cars. This is my win. Mind you, that Scooby-Doo episode and movie. I don't know which one you're talking about off the top of my head. I'm so sorry. Don't take away my Scooby-Doo fan badge thing. <laughs> Why are we sliding so bad? Did somebody put oil on the fucking road, dude? We were barely turning. Game. Finish. Let's go, dude. Weird that they went from an el elimination race to just a standard one. I thought all three of them would have been the same, but... Wait. How am I tied for first place? We won both races. D what? <laughs> it says 20, and the dude right below us says 20, but we won both. We got first place both times. Okay, whatever game. Game obviously cheats. Foul play in Funland when Velma is driving that bumper car but loses her glass and she barely misses the train. I don't remember it off the top of my head. I I feel like I've probably seen it at some point, but I don't remember it. I'm so sorry. My memory is very poor in case you weren't aware. <laughs> okay, so this is another three-lap one. So I wonder if... Uh, if it's going to do the the elimination thing again. Charlie the robot, remember him? Mm, no. I don't think so. Oh my god, that's a paragraph noodle? Holy hell. <laughs> you know, DMs do exist, man. You could have just... <laughs> You couldn't be said in paragraphs. You could just DM the dude. Holy shit. Oh. My mic disappeared. <laughs> okay. Are we good, Mike? You got this? I believe in you. Okay, we're good. As we ram into the walls. I can't help but notice that we've ran this one track three times already. It's an interesting track. I enjoy it, but that kind of makes me worry about track variety not being all that great, you know? If we're only like, uh, what, this is our second, second competition, yeah. So that means in this one competition, they've used the same track twice. And then they also use this track in the last one. It's a little worrying, man. There may not be a lot of variety, a lot of uh, different things to actually play through. Oh, God. Okay, yep. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it, dude. 
if it is elimination, we're screwed. Because <laughs> there's no way. There's no way we're going to catch back up. We'd have to get at least fourth place to not instantly be eliminated. Oh, wait. Did I lie? Did I lie? Nope, shit. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, see, how'd that dude get 30 points? The only way to get 30 points that I know of, unless there's some way to get bonus points, is to uh, get first place every time, because you get 10 points each first you get. But I got first place once, so he couldn't have gotten 30. I don't know, man. You came second. I mean, we got second place, so it's still not terrible, but, like, overall. But, like, something, something's a little off Literally about the game there. Collected. What level's my drink on for? 64 Galaxy 500? Is that collected. color? Crown Victoria? Hmm. Pack collected. Competition unlocked. What'd I miss? Pick a game for me. Vote on a game. I don't see anything. Is my mic not working? No, my mic's working. Oh, the pick in Discord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did see that message. I just forgot already. <laughs> so my memory sucks, man. I'm really bad about that. Ah, uh, I don't. I don't think I've actually seen it. Like the the photo of uh, Velma driving around with Scooby in the little bumper car without her glasses. That one looks familiar. But the robot doesn't look familiar to me at all. Like, so I may have missed one. Is that a classic Scooby Doo? That looks like classic Scooby Doo based off the art style. I want to get that on Blu-ray so bad. It used to be on one of the streaming services. All the Scooby Doo episodes. I think it might have been HBO Max. That just means that I need to. Uh, that just means I need to, you know, binge watch them all myself. That's it. When I come up there, we are binge watching Scooby Doo. Where are you? <laughs> it is classic. I have all three seasons, seasons, two sets too. I've thought about buying it a couple times, but I just haven't yet. Cause I have a, I have a bit of a backlog of uh, like shows and movies that I personally own that I need to watch still. But I do really want to get the Scooby ones now. Pretty much any time I see a cheap Scooby Doo movie at the the store, like a flea market or anything like that, I pretty much always buy those ones though. Uh, backlog be damned because I mean if I can get a good deal on a Scooby movie let's go dude <laughs> anyways guys the uh, ad manager is telling me that it's about time to take an ad break and honestly I don't think there's much more to see in Ford Racing 3 um, it's a video game it exists it's okay if I had gotten it as a kid or something I wouldn't have been mad about it but it's not fantastic either uh, according to the back of the box I paid $4 for it when I picked it up so it's pretty cheap um, or at least it was, you know, a year or two ago whenever I bought it. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and, uh, take that little break real quick. I'm going to stand up, stretch, probably take another drink of my water, pop in Dawn of Mana, and then we'll be right back. Like, I'm just barely hitting it, and it is zooming across the screen. So, I'm getting the feeling that this is going to be a case of...